Hi, I'm pleased to be here with um, Kate Trotter. Hello. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I know you run a company called um, Insider Trends. For people who yeah. don't know, I know we're both partners here in the British Libraries Business and IP Centre, but tell people in a nutshell what is it that you do and what's your background? Okay. Um, well, at Insider Trends, I'm the director of Insider Trends, but I'm essentially the head trend spotter, if you like. And my background's in design and marketing, actually. So it was very creative design. It involves nicely into new ideas for businesses. Got you. And so you're in, as, the, as the name sounds, inside a trend, you're helping people what, understand, spot trends in terms of businesses and so on. How did you get involved in that, in that field? Obviously, marketing is a link, but how did you get involved mm. in this field and decide to set up your a business around it? Okay, well... Originally, as a marketing person, I was getting these trend updates from different companies. Right. But then the agency I was at, we'd go into big companies, we'd say, we think you should do these exciting things. Mm. And they'd say, great. And, but as the idea went further and further into the business, it got more and more watered down and slowed yeah. down. And I just thought, actually, what I really like is talking about the innovation. Mm. And so that's my job now. I just focus on the interesting, exciting parts. And I can help companies if they want to learn more about how to implement them. But ultimately, what I do is just move from exciting thing to exciting so, thing. So walk us through that. So for somebody who didn't know anything about what, what I know you do some workshops and talks, but tell us, what is it in a nutshell you do and how is it that you help businesses of all types, including the very small startup or growing businesses that attended this workshop here today. Okay, so it's all about seeing what will come next, essentially. So lifting your head up to look at the environment around you so you make smarter decisions yeah. and fewer mistakes. And it's actually simpler than it sounds mm. overall. But we deliver all sorts of trend products, mm -hmm. I suppose. So we do presentations. We have public presentations here at the library, yeah. but we do private sessions as well. We have stuff called Trend Tours, where we take businesses out into London. I've heard about this. So yeah. you take them, and what do you do? You literally, you, you take them around various places where things are happening, or what, what do you do? It's a range of things. So if it's a, re a future of retail tour, we mm -hmm. can take people into innovative retail spaces, right. and then I will talk them through the strategy and... It's not just, let's look at a pretty shop, it's actually... That's fascinating, that links to what was going on here today, because today we were just, for the, the people who are just watching this, won't know, but there's a fascinating uh, session here today on um, the future of re um, fashion thingy trends, and you were showing a couple of stores, including, you know, even mention the stores, but doing really um, innovative things in terms of the stores that otherwise we might not know, which is really interactive in terms of their traditional selling experience, linking that to their online experience. And I guess for somebody who's starting or growing a store, being mindful of that, that's gold dust. Yeah. And it can really help them learn, even though it may not directly apply, there could be essence of that kind of stuff that's really useful for them to understand as a business owner and so on. Yeah, so it's <coughs> ideas and inspiration on the plate. Yeah. So it's an idea of what will come next. And almost these... We, I describe trends almost like air currents, okay. this idea that if as a business your aim is, well in this analogy, to fly, mm. you can build a jumbo jet that can be really big and energy consuming and expensive, mm. or you can look out to the environment, see which air currents or trends are picking up and have the same results with a much smaller less expensive glider, for instance. Got so you yeah. build something that takes advantage Got yeah. of the trends. I want to talk a little bit about for people who are starting and growing their business, and there's a huge trend around that in itself, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. Um, if it strikes me that depending on the nature of the service or business or the product, sort of the product that somebody's creating, it's going to depend how much of this kind of stuff they're going to really need to know. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if somebody's in, for example, a, a tech field, they really need to be on it as far as trends are concerned oh, and because yeah. those trends are going to need to move very, very quickly. Can you tell me from your experience, are there any general themes that you would say to entrepreneurs uh, that, 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 that entrepreneurs really, or questions they really need to ask themselves in terms of making sure that they're aware enough in terms of trends? I mean, one of the first things that strikes mm -hmm. me, for example, is that if you're creating a product, you've really got to have all this kind of antenna and the kind of stuff that you do here is, is, is really almost essential yeah. for you to understand. Tell me a little bit about your thoughts about, about, about entrepreneurs generally and this whole thing about what they need to know or be mindful of. Yeah, well, it's just being, I think, aware as you can and almost doing all the research about the environment and the trends before you get, become fixed on a business idea. Right. I think that's the main problem is that a lot of people say, I want to do this, and actually then they 
shut themselves off from trends because there may be some trends that are happening that indicate what they're about to do isn't a good idea. So actually if you can think just generally, well the best idea would be to just think generally I'm going to set up a business Mm -hmm. and then you can look at the trends, you can go measure the size of different markets Mm -hmm. and then that will put people on the best foot and then second to that coming up with an idea. Got you. And if if, if somebody's done it the other way round, which lots of people do, for good yeah. and bad reasons. So if somebody's got this idea and so on, as many people who come into your workshops do, then, yeah. then, then what's really going to be important to them, especially if they have been a little bit burrowed away with their particular idea, yeah. what then is going to be very important? Let's take, for example, today's um, session, which was around fashion, and let's say somebody's you know, producing their own boutique, style wear or whatever mm. what if then somebody's been very busy with their idea and they begin to spot something like your workshop what, what would your what would your message for somebody then be that they've got this idea and they're quite fixed on it what what should they then okay. be doing well it's about being open-minded so looking at what trends are happening and just constantly thinking how can i do something similar to that or seeing an innovative business idea maybe in a different sector mm. and just thinking how can that apply to me because actually ideas are a lot more transferable mm. than people think but also half of it is about thinking what's the easiest way I can test mm. this new idea and well as we saw today there are lots of big companies spending millions of pounds doing very high level expensive things but actually there's normally always a poor man's yeah. alternative yeah. where you can just test a concept or do something along those lines but for well in some cases no money at all oh, yeah. just and, time and tell me um, are there any particular trends generally that you think are just it's great now being sat with the trends expert <laughs> that you would just say watch up be watchful for this I mean there were a couple of things that came out from this that and um, something which we're mindful of about them um, um, the, the continual growth of mobile technology and mobile use for, for, for shopping mm-hmm. and even diverse devices that you're flagging up that, that where people can therefore transact from that but but be it that or more broadly tell me are there particular themes and trends that generally you think are, are really significant for us to be mindful of at the moment oh gosh big ultimate trends um, <laughs> well yeah technology is just changing everything mm. really so in almost every project we do it always comes back to how is technology changing this right. environment but actually what opportunities is it giving for customers and also for employees and people as Good. well so it's not necessarily making things it's shutting things down and making things more robotic it's actually opening up a lot okay. of opportunities so that's one key idea i mean sustainability is actually something that is never going to go away yeah. there are other yeah, and, and is that and is that a trend because of because of um, lack of resources or because of partly because of um, legislation or for a number of reasons. Why is that sustainability? I know that we've all kind of cottoned on that it's very yeah. important, that, but, but tell us a little bit from your perspective why that's, that's really important. Uh, because it's not, go- well yeah, it's not going away. The environment is getting mm. worse mm. and actually the effects of climate change are beginning to be felt. Mm. And so now more than ever people are deciding, they're realising what is happening and they're actually taking action. With it, so with the recession, it's changed a bit, but still, it's a, a really important thing on a lot of people's agendas and a lot of businesses' agendas as well. And, and tell me a little bit about, just very briefly, on technology because it's fascinating. Yeah. Um, wh- where is the driver of this coming from? Is it that we want things that are simpler and so on? Is it lots of the technology companies, some of the big companies, very famous companies that don't need, need to necessarily publicise them, because they're more and more canny about? how their technology could be applied or how it is that we could be buying more. Mm. Tell me more, and obviously technology is always, that's the nature of technology moving on. Yeah. Is, are, are there any particular, where's the driver from technology? Is it coming from us? Is it coming from the technology companies or is it both? Yeah, well, yeah, I think as with everything, I don't think there's ever one source of it. It's actually all these little parties involved in this ecosystem actually contributing right. to a, a trend overall. but. In terms of retail, it's about customers wanting seamless experiences. Mm. So customers have never been able to understand why if they bought something online, they couldn't return it in the store. Mm. And so a lot of it is fitting with customers' expectations. And customers have always... It's it's quite a human thing to want to pick up a device and automatically, instantly use it without looking at the manual. Mm, Yeah, quite right. And so technology companies are more fitting in with human nature. And that's another thing Mm. that a lot of people forget, that technology and ideas change, 
But actually, what humans want and need mm. never changes. That's Human what I nature loved about, never well, that's what I loved about the workshop today, because I thought it was, even though they had a lot to do with, obviously, technology and so on, it was mm. about those very simple things. How is it that a customer wants to engage with them? How can you give a customer an excellent experience? And then on the back of that, the social media and all the other kind of stuff will mm. play out because you've got something really good and really exciting. So again, when it comes back to business, the fundamentals are absolutely the same. Mm. I guess now companies are more canny and we're more discerning and we're more demanding, quite rightly, as yeah. customers about what it is that we that we want to do. And I just want to close by asking a little bit about what continues to... I mean, how do you stay on... I mean, I was impressed, very impressed there because I thought, oh my goodness, I'll just kind of stay on top of, before I got here of yeah. trends and so on. How do you stay on touch? Are you just somebody who just loves what's going on? You constantly read or whatever. How do you yourself stay on touch? Yeah, it's a lot of immersing ourselves yes. in different things. I've made life a bit easier by focusing on four key areas okay. going forward. But it's just reading. I mean, the library here is a fantastic resource, mm. loads of reports. Mm. Um, but it's also a lot of it is actually talking to people. Mm. So I'm, I'm pushing that one step further. I'm setting up a blog now, actually, mm. where I'm going to go out and interview yeah. loads of trendsetters. Yeah. And that's really what it's about because you can read so much, but actually, by going and talking to people, can people shaping you? the future, yeah. you absolutely hear yeah. what's going on. I couldn't agree next. with you more. This is why I'm interviewing you here now. Because, <laughs> but, it, but it is priceless, isn't it? Because then you really get that sense of what's really psychologically also important for people and what's driving that kind of movement. Yeah, uh, um, yeah. Are you noticing, actually one last question actually now that we're on that actually, are you noticing that you're seeing yourself any shifts in terms of entrepreneurs because as a life coach and as a business coach I see you all the time that yeah. people are wanting, they want life balance, they want, they're, they're more mindful about what they're doing. Um, of course more people than themselves want to be master of their own destiny. Mm -hmm. Are you noticing any trends among even the, the entrepreneurs themselves that you would bring to our attention and curious? Right. Well, the, one of the key things to remember is that it's easier than ever to set up a business mm. now. So, you know, PayPal, Facebook, all these things, all, there are lots of free or really, really low cost mm. tools that make it really easy. Mm. And also with the nature of technology, you can develop something and scale it up really, really quickly mm. with eBooks and all mm. this. So actually, in some ways, it's easier for people. If people have the right focus and they've, again, done their research to start with, they can very quickly develop a quite a successful business with a good work. Got it, yeah. And well. I think this is really interesting. Just yesterday, I think I was being interviewed by a young entrepreneur, and it's really fascinating how, because lots of the technology, lo tying lots of this stuff together, lots of the technology and so on that he'd grown up with, for him, just deciding to set up his own online TV thing, doing this and this and then linking it to this and this, very natural, very intuitive, and I guess that's also one of the other things that we can see lots of a whole new generation of entrepreneurs who yeah. are, are very unfazed and they naturally will have um, a, 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 an angle on this, naturally spot these simple, to, easy yeah. to use tools, naturally begin to make those particular kind of links, perhaps naturally also be engaging with other people, so I guess that's going to be one an interesting yeah. thing to watch as well. So yeah, living it, immersing yourself yeah. in it is absolutely the best way to master these, master the future. Absolutely, well it's been <laughs> such a joy um, I'm speaking to you, and just uh, for you, how are you wanting the future to look for you and your business, what is it you're looking for from from, from here on, and you know me as a coach, I can't help, but yeah. what's, your, what, what's your passion from here on? Well we're looking, well, well our aim for this year is to link up more stuff, so we've got our presentations but we're going to be putting those on our site as downloads that people can pay well, pay to download mm. and the blog and we're just going to stitch up more of this stuff it's actually stuff we were already doing but we're just trying to put it in front of people in more places and there was we, the retail presentation we've just done mm. actually um, I had an ebook writer come along, right. so there's going to be an ebook on, the, on Amazon hopefully before too long. Fantastic. So it's all about doubling up this nice. idea. Nice, and I like the way that you're also living it and breathing it, and you know, and, and practicing what you're preaching around it, which is great, and that must make it really yeah. exciting. So you're part of the ecosystem that you're talking about too. Absolutely. Well, it's been such a pleasure to speak to you. Wishing all the best. I'm just going to turn to the camera, so I'm going to leave you just to smile. And thank you very much for inviting me along here today. Oh, but before yes. I forget, if people are trying to find you, the website address, the website, please. Okay, um, www.insider-trends, yeah. with plural, plural uh, dot com. Wonderful. See you yeah. soon. Take care. Oh, thank cheers. You. Thanks.